Welcome, President Chu. Thank you for joining us. So we've been discussing the implications of the coronavirus pandemic for Asian universities. Perhaps you could start by telling us how Tsinghua in particular responded to this global pandemic. 2020 is a special year for the humankind, and we encountered the unparalleled and extraordinary public health emergency. The outbreak of COVID-19 has caused widespread disruption to teaching, learning, and research. Yet, these difficulties show us that if we proactively can confront the challenge, we could be more than capable of preventing the spread of the virus. We can sustain our research, teaching, and learning. Education should never stop. Tsinghua gave the top priority to the security and the health of our students, faculty, and staff. Wuhan went into lockdown on January 23rd. On the same day, Tsinghua established 13 epidemic prevention task forces. We established contact with every single Tsinghua student, faculty, and staff and closely monitored their health. No one was left behind. The university's hospital initiated emergency plans and set up fever clinics. Campus security level was reinforced by applying strict restrictions on visitors and vehicles. Buildings were disinfected multiple times a day. Quarantine facilities on campus for the returning students and the faculty were set up. Tsinghua has demonstrated its implementation of widespread online education and worked with global partners to improve education outcomes during the COVID-19 period. On January the 30th, we decided that the spring semester courses will start on February the 17th, on time and on schedule. On February the 3rd, over 50,000 Tsinghua students, faculty, staff members, and alumni representatives attended the university-wide class held online. On February the 17th, through multiple platforms and technologies that enable real-time interactive and remote online teaching, Tsinghua delivered almost 4,000 spring semester courses on schedule, marking the beginning of a profound transformation in teaching method. Tsinghua has demonstrated its commitment to enhance global cooperation and safeguard global public health security. On March 27th, as the chair of the Asian University Alliance, Tsinghua convened a COVID-19 response experience sharing dialogue with Alliance members and other universities partners. On April 24th, Tsinghua jointly organized a special dialogue with UNESCO on the urgent topic of online education. This event had a diverse attendance, including UNESCO Assistant Director General, Yale President, Cambridge Vice Chancellor, KAIST President, among others. We announced that Tsinghua is working with universities in Mongolia to share online educational resources. On April the 2nd, Tsinghua established the Wanko School of Public Health. The former Director General of WHO, Dr. Margaret Chang, is the school's inaugural dean. We received letters of support from Mr. Bill Gates, co-chair of the Bill Melinda Gates Foundation, Professor Lawrence Baco, President of Harvard University, and Dr. Gabrisus, Director General of the World Health Organization, among many others. Dr. Gabrisus expressed 
has support for the inauguration of the Wanko School of Public Health, noting that the school could not come at a more critical moment. And could you describe how Tsinghua's teaching model changed in response to the pandemic? Tsinghua University has always been dedicated to its strategic goals of providing world-class education and contributing ideas, knowledge, and technology to the world. During the transition to online modes of education, extraordinary challenges were overcome. First, there was a limited time, only two weeks, to have more than 2,600 faculty members trained on how to use the software and the tools available. They attended special training activities to improve their online teaching skills, including time arrangement, class interactions, the use of online platform tools, etc. Notably, only 15% of the faculty members had online teaching experience before. It was inspiring to say that all faculty members mastered the skills required within such a short period of time. Second, many students experienced financial and logistic difficulties while they prepared for this unexpected change. Some students, particularly those in remote or mountainous regions of China, have internet difficulties. Teams were established to provide technical and financial support to ensure that they could participate in class. Sure. The challenges related to time difference for international students and faculty who are located in every corner of the world. Tsinghua offered solutions such as carefully adjusting the course times, instilling classroom learning flexibly, and expanding the functions and the capacity of the online learning platforms. And what are the long-term implications of the COVID-19 pandemic on Tsinghua's teaching and learning environment? The pandemic triggered a massive implementation of online education. It is possible that the form of campus-based education will be profoundly reshaped after the pandemic. Tsinghua has been delivering teaching and learning activities for all courses this semester on a number of online platforms, including a self-developed online education platform, which offers real-time interaction between teachers and students, as well as course evaluation. Teachers use the platform to create courseware preview and check students' preview status before class. Slides can be synchronized with social media apps, helping students move seamlessly from class content to group discussion and feedback. Our research demonstrates that compared to the in-person classes, online courses class attendance rate has been improved. In addition, the interactions between faculty and students have considerably improved. We believe the screens are not barriers for interaction, but rather new bridges between faculty and students. To minimize disruption to the graduating students, Tsinghua has extended additional efforts and support. Examples include the provision of online success defense, as well as online job fairs accessible to job-seeking graduates. According to our estimation, the graduation rate will remain almost the same as last year. In what way has the coronavirus crisis reprioritized Tsinghua's research? What's changed? Modern universities are 
characterized by academic research and innovation, and have made indispensable contributions to the well-being of humankind. Based on the traditional strengths in science and technology, Tsinghua swiftly initiated COVID-19 research projects. Substantial progress has been made in basic medical research, vaccine research, fast testing kits, as well as intelligent epidemic prevention systems and equipment. For example, Professor Chen Jin's research group from the School of Medicine successfully developed the respiratory virus nucleic acid detection kit, the first in the world to detect six types of respiratory virus simultaneously, providing patients with quick and accurate diagnosis. In addition to the scientific and technological achievements, Tsinghua's Department of Psychology launched COVID-19 psychological first aid program, providing professional training and guidance for volunteers and one-on-one -on -one counseling. And could you share some key lessons from dealing with the pandemic? I believe universities should safeguard the security and the health of its faculty, students, staff, and community members as well as ensure the continuity of education. Universities should also provide confidence to the society in defeating COVID-19 and teach students how to respect life and nature. After the pandemic, universities should continue to carry out relevant research in order to be better prepared for future global health emergencies and challenges.